Oh, me being in Tonga Netball, it's like uh, me trying to get my dream when I was little. Um, happened for those that are young now. Um, and the idea of taking Nepal to the villages, I was like, when I was young, I was like hoping someone would like bring Nepal to me when I can't come to Nepal. Nepal can change life or help out or reach out some people out there or they have no other way. Nepal would reach out to them and say, hey, you're um, not useless. There's something you can do about yourself. So my family think about it. They said it's a waste of time, you know. I should stay home and do some other work, you know. But I said, no, I, I like netball because it's make me more healthy, you know, lose weight and get to know people. My family changed their mind. They said, oh, yeah, you can go. We, we see you love it. So they came and watched me when I'm playing. So I feel so happy. I see my family support me. The Pacific Sports Partnership, which is funded by the Australian government, is a sport for development program which focuses on addressing the key risk factors associated with non-communicable diseases, such as diabetes and heart disease. As part of the program, we look at the inequalities faced by women and girls, as well as people living with a disability throughout the Pacific. Netball Australia has been working in the Pacific and with Tonga Netball Association for over six years. And during that time, we've developed a great working relationship and it's successful because it's a true partnership. These are very strong and capable women and Netball Australia's role is to listen and to assist by providing support, uh, by training and resources so that they can continue to grow and run netball themselves. How and what better way uh, is it for Tonga Netball to grow but to learn off the best? Um, it, it's a beautiful relationship that we've fostered and um, Netball Australia have been considerate of the Tongan context of things. So I think over the years we've learned what we've learned, but there's always that room and we're always welcoming of all the sharing that Netball Australia is passing us, all the goodness that they've learned from their experiences, yeah. The Tonga Netball Association trained local champions to lead and deliver netball in their own villages, thus making netball truly sustainable. The improved physical activity and health outcomes for 400 women involved in the study is significant and supports Tonga Netball Association's and Tonga Government's mission to leave no one behind. The reason for our visit to Tonga was to present on the recent findings of a study that was conducted. The study looked at 14 different villages on the main island of Tonga, with 10 of those villages being considered low engagement in regards to their netball participation and physical activity levels, with the other four villages being considered high engagement. The aim of the study was to get those 10 low engagement villages to increase their netball participation rates and increase their levels of physical activity. We train local data collectors to collect surveys from 400 women across 14 villages at three separate time points. We found that by increasing their access to netball, it allowed an increase in participation from zero times a week to between three or four times a week. Women went from about 16 minutes of recreational physical activity per week to over four hours. They were healthier, they lost weight, better mental well-being. The average weight loss in the program was three or four kilos. This was sustained across the year, an increase in mental well-being of around 40%. My parents tell me to focus on study and they tell me if I pass all my exam so I can continue playing netball. So every night I have to study hard to make my parents proud of me. It was really exciting to see when we came, there was already women sitting around the court. The kids were already inside playing and they were so eager to come. And then they were always asking, oh, you know, you should have come earlier because we needed like, you know, a longer period of time to play. 
I know that they're, they're really excited to play and eager to continue to keep playing, just not for their physical health, but you know, to socialize as well. For <laughs>